Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils. Who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Oh, a man. Nay, a wolf. Gray, though not old. Tis he oh. the Peller awaits. You were expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is rape and death, but the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. A very specific Recognize omen. This. Very detailed. Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanted to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know, but the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. As long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. <sighs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! <laughs> Princess! Where have you <laughs> got to go? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell. The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. This guy's crazy. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. That is it. Spirits had nothing more to say? Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, and augur I did. They're gone, the child remains. Mentioned a child. Whose? 
Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. Did the Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave thrown. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf. Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming? That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefather's eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefather's eve this year. But we'll find a way, all the same. I hear you right. You mentioned Forefather's Eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name. Appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. White wolf. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? So now we gotta go back and talk to the Baron. Lower.
Lightning strike. Time to water the whole thing. Oh. That's a problem. Oh, on a field. Oswin, where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire? You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple? Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses! See what I can do. Hurry now! Quick! Set up. No. Okay. Ha 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 ha! We've a hero in our midst. You've earned yourself a barrel of Lyrian. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? No. What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? You white They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! Ah! Ah, come on. There we go. Oof. 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 This is not coming, going well. There we go. Got some heavy fists. We need to talk. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish. But she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Your wife, how'd she make you angry? 
Too much salt in the soup. Socks never darned. Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Hmm. <sighs> Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last Blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? I. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. I don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, but Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Jesus. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna... The little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher? My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. 
And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. Thanks so much for watching Video Game Relapse. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions help out a lot. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, you can find more videos on the channel. We're releasing new videos almost every day. Also, if you're into tabletop games, check out my other channel, Board Online, Board Offline.